there, this is Dazzy Van Damme, back with another Let's Compare video. This time we're looking at the Arcade Classic Hard Driving. And uh, we'll be checking it out on the... Uh, let me see... The ZX Spectrum, the Amstrad CPC, Commodore 64, Atari ST, and the Amiga 500. And the Sega Mega Drive version, which is the uh, version we have running just now. Uh, I grew up with this version, so I'll start with it because it's the version I'm most familiar with. Uh, I did own the Spectrum version, although I can't really remember playing it as a kid. I think by this time I'd moved on to the Mega Drive. I still played the, uh, the Spectrum at that point, but uh, obviously not as much. So, one second. Here we go. Now I think uh, compared to the arcade version, you know, it was about as good as the Mega Drive could get, I think, but um the thing that it suffered from, I think, was the uh, shitty sound effects. I think the sound effects for, uh, for this were pretty bad. But you know, it's. Oh shit. Not a great start. It uh, it runs okay for um, a very early 3D style of game, and like I said, it, it is faithful to the arcade version. Now my plan is to get a lap of the stunt track and the the speed track for some uh, footage to show you, but uh, oh, fucking hell. Whether or not I can still do that, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing quite bad so far. Oh, Jesus Christ! Now I guarantee you, if I wasn't recording footage, that wouldn't have happened once. Right, this time. There we go. Okay. Oh, shit. This is a nightmare. And like I said, it's, uh... It is close to the arcade. I mean, obviously, if you if you were to compare this to the arcade version side by side, you can instantly tell the difference, but uh, it was good for the Mega Drive. I can't believe in this. It just goes to show the amount of years it's been since I've actually uh, played this. I always think I'm going to be as good as I was without any practice whatsoever. Quite clearly, I am crap. Sudden piss. There I was. I was tempted to put bollocks, but I won't. Oh, wait a minute. We shall get the footage. We shall get the footage. So um, I'm quite eager to play this on the Spectrum again, just for the simple reason I did own it as a kid. I cannot remember playing it. I can remember getting it. Uh, was it one of those, uh, you know, the car boot sales? Uh, 
you always had a store on the car boot sale, the guy that and sold computer games. Would let you swap loads. So it was always a handy thing with them. I can remember picking up a copy of Howard Driving. I just can't remember playing it. And obviously I've never played the CPC version or the Commodore version. Uh, as well as the ST or the uh, Amiga version. Good all around. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go, an entire lap. But you know, it runs at a good enough uh, speed. Uh, oh shit. Oh, I did play. Uh, it was race driving, but race driving on the SNES. What the fuck? Look at that. Typical M5 users, that is. I did play race driving on the, um, on the Super Nintendo. Man, oh man, is that a broken, useless, worn out piece of crap again. Oh, it's just getting on my nerves now. Anyway. This has been the Mega Drive version. Uh, let's go over to the Spectrum version. And we're back again with the ZX Spectrum version. Oh, I can't remember this whatsoever. Space bar center steering. Mm. Okay. Uh, we'll drive on the left. And you can see there it's hard driving, but uh, no music. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Okay, now I'll slow down a bit. Jesus Christ, what happened there? <laughs> no idea. Well, as you can see, it is our driving on the spectrum. I mean, yeah. It don't have accelerate quick as fuck. The hell? Come on now. I have no choice but to watch the replay. Well, that will get annoying. One must accelerate. Stop accelerating, I can't stop. Guess that anyway. Um, I'm just accelerating. What the hell are you going? Well, this isn't fun to play, I can tell you that much. Oh, you can't stop the instant replays. Right. Controls just not good. You can't even line up. This is awful. I'm not. I'm not pressing accelerate, but I'm accelerating anyway. Stop accelerating! Oh Jesus Christ! Oh man, it's 
game is fucking awful. What the hell is going on here? I'm just spinning around in circles now. Holy shit. Well, the controls are a horrible... You can't even call them controls. Uh, yeah. Well, apart from, you know, I knew it wasn't going to look good. But, uh... You can recognise it as hard driving when you look at it, but... It doesn't play anything like it. The engine sound, that's a horrible, horrible, horrible sound. Look at the speed, are you just... What the fuck? <laughs> I suppose it was a nice attempt of a 3D racer on a Spectrum, but... regardless if you want to or not. Pretty sure they could have had better controls than this. Yeah, they, they, the game's fucking awful. I don't even, I don't even want to carry on. God only knows what the Amstrad CPC version is going to be like, but let's find out. And we're back again with the Amstrad CPC version. We have Collar. Some form of music so uh, it's looking better than the, uh, the inspection version already. Right, let's crack on with this. Right, we'll use auto. Oh no. No, 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 no. I don't believe it. That started off so promising as well, it just turns out it is a lazy, lazy, lazy spectrum port. It's all the same problems as the Spectrum version. Controls are completely useless. Accelerates whether or not you want it to or not. Why accelerate like that? I'm not Anything. Anyway, yeah, it's a fight even just to go in a straight line. Yeah, I'm using that space bar like it says to center it. And it don't make much of a difference. developing this game could they not see like the struggle that it was to even just move in a straight line Yeah, not a lot I can say really. Apart from the uh, the intro bit, that actually looked quite promising. It had colour in it. 
And then when they come to the actual game, they must have just thought, ah, oh, fuck it. We've done our bit. Oh, jeez. Go in the... It's impossible. It is identical to the Spectrum version. As in, it's an unplayable piece of shit. And I thought I was going to have fun, uh, Jesus Christ. I thought I was going to have some fun with this video. But, uh... Yeah, I'm not liking it, I'm not liking it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try out the, uh... 64 and back again with a C64 version. Uh, well, so far it's looking so good. Uh, music, uh, nice and colourful uh, loading screen there. But looks can be deceiving, yeah, as we found out with the Amstrad. Um, Now, I don't seem to have any control over anything. I'll pause that there. Right, we'll go auto, no clutch. This is different. Start on stunt track. Start on speed track. Oh, what is this? Um, yeah, it actually looks worse. It, what the fuck? No action replays. Right, it looks worse than the Spectrum and the Amstrad versions. I, what the fuck's going on here? The hell? <laughs> this is what This is unplayable. I can barely move. You press left or right and you just, I don't know what the fuck. I wouldn't call that skid in. You do, what the hell? What the hell? It is just impossible to go in any kind of a straight line. I can't even get to the first corner. I have no control whatsoever over the car. I'm not doing anything. Right. What the f This is definitely going to be one of the most crappiest games I've ever played. It's not even a game. It looks awful, it plays awful. You just don't have any control over anything that's happening. That, that was just a slight, a very slight manoeuvre there. What the fuck? I don't know how they released this, it's uh... Awful. It makes me wish I was playing the Amstrad or the Spectrum version. I've just got no words.
Now, how the hell am I going to get up there? Jesus Christ. Do I really want to waste any more of my life on this? Let's attempt to jump over this. Supposedly this is a, almost 140 miles per hour. Well that was good. Turn. Or Nah, this is just... You have absolutely no chance of getting out of the way of anything. Nah, I'm not playing that anymore. It is shit, shit, and shit again. Oh my god. Right, if anybody's still watching, we're going to check out the Atari ST version. back again with the Atari ST version and uh, the same loading screen as the Commodore 64 looks nice but as we know from the Commodore version looks can be deceiving let's have a look if we can get going there we go for options gear shift um, yep. oh. well it has the same kind of sound effects as I was expecting similar anyway Expected better than that. It does look sharper than even the Mega Drive, I think. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't control. It definitely doesn't control well at all. Jesus Christ. It's definitely got hints of. Bit versions in it. It plays. <laughs> it plays like the Amstrad, the Spectrum, and the Commodore 64. Jesus. This is fucking awful. It looks nicer than even a Mega Drive version, but it's just got the same crap controls. Same crap controls as the 8 bit version. Same crap controls. Nicer graphics. Pretty bad sound effects. Yeah, this isn't a good version either. It's a control system that they never 
sort it out. I should have learnt with the Spectrum version. I definitely should have learnt from the Commodore version. That's pretty bad. I'm not going to bother doing any more of that. Uh, we'll go on to the Amiga 500 version. Okay, we are back again with the Amiga 500 version. And let's pray to God this version is somewhat decent, because all the rest so far, by the Mega Drive version, let's face it, I've been shit. <clears throat> uh, let's have a look. I still say it looks better than the Mega Drive version, but uh, I can only really tell straight away it's accelerating by itself, really. I am going to try the speed track this time. I am not having much success with these controls. And the uh, stunt track. the same as the Atari ST version. It pretty much plays the same as well to be honest. It plays the same as the 8-bit versions, although all by the uh, Commodore 64. Jesus Christ, that was crap. Yeah, the controls for all these are exactly the same, fucking awful. I don't like the controls whatsoever. Especially disappointing. The Amiga's got so many great racing titles on it. This is just piss poor. Oh shit! Yeah, the, uh, the sound sounds pretty much the same as the Atari ST. I think, to be honest. Oh god, the controls are horrible. Oh shit! Quite disappointing, really. I was I was looking forward to making this video, and uh, I have actually made it. So it's kind of crap, really. Well, the content I'm working with is crap, anyway. One good version I would say I've played, and that's um, the one I started with, the Mega Drive version. All oh, the rest of these are just <laughs> unplayable. Awful man. Really, 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 really bad. Yeah, I definitely uh I won't be playing any of these versions ever again, probably not after this. I think when I was a kid when I had it on the spectrum, uh I think I must have blocked it out. Pretty sure I owned it. What's this fucking awful? Look at that. Controls so bad. <laughs> Fuck say. Oh, positives quick. Well, graphics are very, very, very nice. I'll admit, yeah, I do like the graphics. Uh, oh, good. Um. Sound effects are also better than the uh, Meg Drive version. But, uh, yeah. It's just no fun to play. I mean, I've played the Mega Drive version many, 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 many times, but I would never play this part of the show ever again. Uh, oh, fuck, this is pitiful. Turn, turn, 
Captain, come on. I mean, <laughs> fucking hell. I can't describe to you how bad the, but how bad the controls are. You're just gonna have to uh, get hold of an emulator or anything just to play. Play this on the Amiga or the Atari or any one of the 8-bit systems and you'll see how bad it is. I mean... I can't describe like, the, the, the way it steers, the way it accelerates... It just... look, there's... I'm not pressing the brakes whatsoever, no, look at that. I am accelerating and I'm not accelerating. It doesn't matter if I'm pressing accelerate or not. It will just accelerate by itself. Slow down when it wants. Yeah. Definitely something that could have been a hell of a lot better. But, uh, I don't know, programmers are just lazy bastards and they're getting paid anyway, so. Fuck it. Boy, bother, we've got the money. As long as the graphics looks nice, we can sell it on the back of the, uh, on the screenshots on the back of the box. Tell you take it home and play it, you know. What the fuck's this? Oh, well, I'm gonna hit that, I've got no choice. Oh, I missed it. Oh, shit. We. Well, that's another video from me. I'm sorry it was so crap. But, uh, hopefully the next time I'll cover something a little bit more. Well, something I can actually play, yeah? See you again next time.